everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't filmed in a really, really long time, but I will get into the reasons why whilst I'm eating. Um, if you guys are offended by like eating videos or like anything like that, you don't have to watch. So, but yeah, I'm just having my lunch. I went to McDonald's because I'm really, really hungry and I just wanted, I was craving a chicken burger. So I got a McChicken sandwich. Oh, and it's really warm. And some chips. I'm just going to pour the chips in here. Also, guys, I don't know if you watched my last video um, where I kind of broke my camera. I still haven't fixed it, which is so annoying. Um, I need to do that this weekend. I have to. And I got Fanta this time. I didn't get Coke. I got Fanta. And I also got a Oreo McFlurry. I shouldn't have got this because I'm just kind of recovering from the cold slash flu. But I was really like, I need this. Like, I'm just gonna have a little bit of it. I filmed um, two McDonald's eating videos. So I'll leave them linked below. I think I did one in the car, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to just start off by kind of telling you guys what's been going on. So the last video you watched was a vlog and it was Christmas and it was a really good time. Um, and then the next day was Boxing Day and um, uh, my mum's uncle passed away and he lives in Canada. He lived in Canada and so... Like her, my auntie, my uncle and my other auntie, they all kind of flew off to Canada. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, I kind of talked about this kind of then. I don't really want to get into it now, but um, yeah, so my family were up in Canada. I really wanted to go, but my mum kind of was like, Tiff, just stay here. So I didn't go to the funeral, but um, yeah, so that's what happened. And then... I just kind of went back to work because, as you guys know, in December I took a lot of time off work. And then I went back to work in the new year and I've been working since. I, I got the flu like a few days ago, like I want to say about five days ago, I got really, really ill. And um, yeah, I'm better now. <laughs> To those of you that follow me on Snapchat and always send me cute messages, thank you. Like, honestly, it's really, really kind and I can't, like, I can't believe how many of you support me outside of YouTube, which is really nice. Okay, I'm going to take a bite to the burger. Mmm. That's a big bite. message. So weird, I never use Twitter but I always get the notifications. I asked you guys on Snapchat to send me in some questions. When I was in Canada, not when I was in Canada, when my mum was in Canada I was on my own in the house. Of course I stayed with my sister and Tiro was around as well. But when I came home because I don't really like staying like I don't I love sleeping in my own bed in my own room I just love like I don't know I just feel like I don't really like sleepovers I really like my own bed so um whatever we did I'd always come home and um yeah and then on snapchat I was talking to you guys about the alarm system we have at home and that I feel safe when I'm at home, like I don't feel scared at night or anything on my own because of the alarm system we have, we never used to have it and then a few of you were wondering why I was kind of discussing the alarm system and why I was scared before but I don't know if you guys know and I don't think I've ever mentioned it on YouTube but we've been burgled before so I think this was about, I want to say about nine, eight, nine years ago But 
yeah, we um, we've been burgled before. So ever since we've been burgled, when my sister was living here as well, we just didn't feel right. Like it's the worst feeling having someone come to your house and. In my case, they came to my house and they left a knife on my bed, which was crazy because I thought there was someone out there that wants to kill me, right? And I was, what, 15, 6, no, how old was I? Yeah, I was about 14, 15 years old. So I was really young and I was so scared. I was so scared to go into my room, especially after it happened. And, um... So it was my sister's idea to kind of get the security and the alarm, security alarm for our house. And um, ever since then, we all just feel really, really safe. The police did find the guy that burgled our house, which is crazy. He was a really young guy and he left the knife on my bed by accident. It wasn't even like he was sending out a message. He was kind of taking my PlayStation. I think I had a PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 3. I don't even remember. It was one of the PlayStations. I had one because I used to love um playing on the dance mat like I got a playstation because I wanted like to do exercise and dance around <laughs> and um yeah so he was trying to unplug everything and when he was doing that he left the knife on my bed but yeah it wasn't like a huge knife it was a very small knife so I don't think he was going to use it but still it was really scary I've been really good at eating breakfast like I before, I never used to eat breakfast, it's so bad, so I'd go into work and wait for lunchtime, and then I'd eat. But now, I need to stop taking bigger bites. <laughs> um, no, um, yeah, I'm really good at eating breakfast now. And it's made such a difference, like, because I'm waking up a bit earlier, I kind of wake up, have a shower, do my morning routine, and then I'll have a toast and banana. And I know it doesn't sound like a big breakfast, but it really makes me feel better for when I go into work. I'm, I'm in such a better mood. Like, I don't know why I didn't eat anything before. I think I was always rushing because I was always late. I feel like this burger has gotten so much smaller. Also, people were asking about my Invisalign treatment. <laughs> so I have paid for my Invisalign treatment. Like, I've paid for it. It's a lot of money and I've paid for it. Mmm, Fanta is tasting so good right now. Like, I really needed Fanta. I haven't had Fanta in a really long time. I always, like, gravitate towards, like, Coke and Sprite. But I'm loving Oh yeah, what was I talking about? I'm talking about my teeth. So in November, you guys know, well I don't know if you know, but I was struggling so much with my wisdom teeth. Um, my wisdom teeth was playing up and my face was swollen and it was such a bad time, but it had nothing to do with the Invisalign treatment. I know it's completely different. Like I haven't even started my Invisalign. Like. I just haven't even started it. But yeah, so I had a root canal done and there's so much going on in regards to my teeth in November that I didn't want to start my Invisalign treatment even though I've paid for it and they've, they're have they kind of waiting for me to call them back. And I haven't done so. But my teeth are normal now so I guess I should call them because I've paid quite a lot for my teeth. I think I'm just scared that I'm going to go back and they do something and then I'm in so much pain again. So what else is new with me? I've been loving makeup again, guys. Like, I really love watching makeup videos. Like, I went through this phase where... I go through phases, like, where I love makeup so much and then I'm, like, over it. But now, I'm back to loving makeup, honestly. I've been buying loads of makeup and I'm back on, like, I'm just loving it. So I want to film more makeup videos. <laughs> and I know when I started this channel, it was all about makeup, wasn't it? Mmm. That's my favourite. I had a few questions on what I want to do in the future and whether I wanted to open up my own opticians. 
the answer to that question is no. I don't want to open up my own opticians. I just feel like there's so much competition out there that I don't, it's not something I'm interested in. Like, I'm happy with my job and like I don't want to be a director or I don't want to have that kind of responsibility. And if I'm not interested in it, there's no point even thinking about it. Like, I like my job, but I don't like the business side of things. What I really want to get into is, like, properties. Like, I want to always have this job. Like, I love my job. I feel like I wouldn't have gone to uni and done, like, four years of education if it wasn't, if I wasn't into doing what I do. But, like, my goal outside of work, like, I feel like I'm really happy with work, is to kind of get into properties and I'll kind of talk more about this like in the future but right now that's kind of the goal and the aim. What do I miss doing? You know what I miss doing is I miss studying. I honestly miss learning and having exams and I have talked to Tiwi about this and like he was like, yeah, Tiff, do your master's, do your PhD, like, do something if you want to. And my thing is, like, that is something I want to look into in the future. Like, I really miss studying and learning and... With what I do, like, being an optometrist, you always have to kind of keep on top of things in regards to the health of the eyes, health of the body. But I feel like... I'm not challenged enough, like I want an exam. But yeah, I really, I really do miss studying. Is that weird to miss studying? I'm such a nerd. No, I really miss it. I really shouldn't have ice cream, but I'm just gonna have, you know, the Oreo bit, like just the top bit. And I love that the ice cream is melted. This is my favorite McFlurry, the Oreo one. I used to like the crunchy one, but I think now it's the Oreo. Sorry, my camera um, switched off. Um, but yeah, before I leave, I kind of want to end on... Um, basically, I get loads of questions on like friendships, relationships um, and things. And I just want you guys to know, like I wish I had this way of thinking when I was younger. But um, I always feel like whether you've got a really close friend or a boyfriend that you don't talk to anymore or anyone that you just kind of stop talking to just for any reason, whether you guys had an argument or something didn't work out or sometimes you just drift away from people and that's okay. Like sometimes nothing happens and life takes over. You meet new people or work gets in the way or studying gets in the way and you kind of drift away from people right that's normal um and it's happened to me and i'm sure it's happened to you guys i always think people come into your life for a reason and whether you stop talking to this friend or this boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever they were like kind of put in your life for a reason like in that moment in your life you needed them, right? So they were put in your life for that reason because you might have had something you were going through and they helped you through it. Or if it's exams, they got you through the exams. If it's through being ill, they got you through being ill. And then they aren't there anymore. And I feel like rather than focusing on like the them not being there, kind of be like, you know what? They were there for when I needed them and that's fine, like I got through something because of them and they helped me through a lot. Um, so rather than focus on, oh, I didn't, I've lost a friend or I've lost a boyfriend, I feel like we should kind of focus on why they were there. They were put in our lives for a reason and we're stronger. I feel like with every experience you go through, you um, turn out to be stronger, but don't ever live a life of regret and be like, oh, why did I spend so much time with this person? They don't even mean this much to me or whatever. Don't live a life of regret. Just think, you know what? They got me through this. They made me who I am today. And 
I now know what I want in a friendship. I now know what I want in a relationship. But yeah, I don't know if any of that made sense. I love ice cream when it's all melted. You know when you get ill and then you hear, I don't know if it's like, I don't know if it's true, but you know some people go, oh, go and have ice cream. <laughs> have I just made that up? And it's like, oh, ice cream will make you feel better. Or is it Sprite? No, I think that's Sprite, isn't it? Like whenever you get a tummy ache or something, it's like, go and drink Sprite. I don't know, have I just made that up? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Mama Bear always gives me, like, used to give me Sprite or Lucasade. She used to always give me Lucasade as well. I used to love Cowpole. <laughs> when I was younger, I'd always pretend to be ill so that my mum would give me Cowpole. It was so sweet and I was so weird because I'd always tell my sister, oh, I'm going to have some Cowpole, I'm going to have some Cowpole. And she used to hate it because my sister till this day doesn't like anything too sweet. Um, I'm going to film more videos and I'm going to kind of, this is going to be my first video back. Um, I hope you all had like an amazing New Year's, I hope you're all sticking to your New Year's resolutions because I'm not, I can't remember, oh yeah, mine is to stay, um, stay on time for work, which I have been doing, so yeah, I haven't really made any New Year's resolutions, but I feel like if I did I wouldn't have stuck to them. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you all so much for watching make sure to follow me on snapchat and instagram and if you haven't subscribed to here already make sure to subscribe I film quite a lot of videos like I film eating videos I do hauls I do vlogs and I'm going to go back to filming makeup videos as well I want to get back into that because I'm enjoying makeup again so I will see you guys in my next video thank you for watching bye Mwah.